Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and today I am showing my art snacks uh, for the month of October and I think I saw on their Instagram that they were gonna have an ink uh, product because you know it's a lot of people do Inktober or any other like um, Inktober related challenges um, I don't partake in because Although I do kind of draw daily, and that's a lot of pressure doing, like actually expect me to do 31 um, drawings. But um, maybe one year I'll, I'll do it. And I also want to show what I got on the art snack shop because they had a sale. So yeah, let's get started. So here's my art snacks already open because I always struggle to open it on, on camera. <laughs> and this is it. I'm gonna open up my my monster. Cause it's a little late then. Yeah. And a little boost. So here's the menu. The candy, it's a uh, dum dums. Uh, strawberry. Oh my god, it's Liquitex. I love that brand, by the way. So yeah, this is what we have. Uh, let me get my sketchbook. So here it is. A lot of pages. There's a lot happening here. So let's do it. Art snacks October Ooh, 2020. Move this to the side, and let's see. And uh, as always, here's a little joke of the month, and it says, Where did the angry painter do? I mean, what did the angry painter do? They made a scene. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so I always like um, reading the little joke. So we start out with the Kuretake Sig Higashiyama manga liner, and it retails for four dollars. And it says, "Draw on any surface imaginable with the Kuretake Sig Higashiyama manga liner." The vivid metallic color is extremely opaque and waterproof when dry. It's also easy to create intricate designs with this pen thanks to the fine nib. So let's check that out, which I'm pretty sure is on this one right here. gonna be like a fine liner but it's it's this oh my god that's so cute look at a little frog dancing a little bunny it's nice it says manga liner made in japan that's one of the ones that you shake and you push and you get the color out and it's extra fine according to this 0.7 to 2 milliliters let's open this up when I saw a liner, I thought it was gonna be a fine liner. But, I mean, right here it has like the little thick um, marker thing. I'm pretty sure it's the color gold, so it's gonna, gonna be pretty cool too to use well there's some color let me zoom y'all in let me write it now the, the bottom just want to try it out Ooh, that is nice. I really like that color. It's 
a really pretty gold. There's not a lot of line variation. I mean, I don't want to work with it, I guess. But it's super pretty. the next item the Liquitex professional acrylic ink it retails at $7.99 and it's like experience pure permanent color with Liquitex professional acrylic ink no dyes or fading here extremely fluid and waterproof this ink dries quickly to satin finish high fi life fastness and permanence means your illustrations will last a lifetime 20 new hues have recently been added to the color range which one did you get realize that you can you couldn't read it with me but <laughs> there you go Ooh, is this one right here uh liquid is my favorite brand of acrylic paints um, oh and we got a a really nice pink it says this fluorescent pink 30 milliliters Ooh, let's let's see let's drop. I don't want to get like a whole um, brush to try this out but this is pretty much the color. But I'm pretty sure if you dilute it with water. Ah, but it's acrylic ink. So I don't know if I should do that. Look at this. So I've gotten um uh, inks from them in the past, but never uh, from liquid tech, so I'm excited. I rarely work with ink. But I'll see what I can do here. The next item, see, focus on camera, is the Winsor and Newton Professional Watercolor Synthetic Sable Brush, and it retails from twelve fifty nine to seventeen twenty nine. Bruh. It's a staff favorite, and it says after rigorous testing, Winsor and Newton have created the best blend of synthetic bristles to mimic natural sable hair. This unique blend allows color to flow evenly and consistently, producing flowing brush strokes. From its ergonomic handle to its excellent color carrying capacity, this brush is truly innovative. Let's see. Not a use right now. You know when I start um, testing it out, this is what it looks like. It says professional watercolor. Um, I really like holding it. It feels really nice in your hand, and uh, I mean, this is definitely for the ink. And I like these type of brushes, so it's gonna be fun to use. Close that. Let's see the last supply. Oh, another pencil. Mitsubishi High Uni pencil. It reaches for two seventy five. And it says, "Pencil lovers, this one's for you." Widely considered one of the best pencils around, the Mitsubishi High Uni is beautiful inside and out. The graphite core. Is exceptionally smooth, resulting in rich, even lines. While the set, the cedar body is coated in a glossy bur burgundy lacquer. 
I don't know what that is. Um, okay, yeah, this does look really nice. It's a B grade Japan. It's right here, Mitsubishi Hayumi. Alright, let's see. I got this in one of the art snacks two or three months ago. I don't know, I'll link it so y'all can see it. So let me use that real quick.
So I'm done and um, sort of placed on my sketchbook. So let me show you guys with everything else. I um, usually do that. Like I put a border of the washi tape that we got that one month, I think August. Um, and some background so it looks, which I didn't add in the last one, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. I am so happy with how she turned out because my first attempt, I finished it and I hated it. I'm gonna show it, it's this one. She doesn't look, I'm gonna look the, I like the background, but she doesn't look as good. This is a face. So I was gonna go and finish this one up, but I wasn't happy with it at all. And I'm glad I decided to change it because this looks a lot better. Um, I cheated. <laughs> I used these that were in the last uh, month's box because I need to have some some light art. <laughs> so yeah, and I also used one of the water brushes that we got one month. Forgot which one. Uh, so those are the three extra supplies that I use for this. But whatever, as long as I'm, I'm like in the last result, that's all that matters. And I wish I could sell prints of this because this is, it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, every month I do record myself putting this here. But I do need to take a picture of it without it first. So let me do that and then we'll place the sticker together. Uh, so before I we put the sticker together, I just want to show you guys what I got from the Art Snack shop. It's in this package. Um, and they had a sale called Paper Fest. So all of their surfaces were, I want to say, thir yeah, 30% off. So, I took advantage of that because 
I am a horrible sketchbook, <laughs> so y'all should see the pile that I have of unused sketchbooks. I might do a video showing all that. I'm super excited because I have I saw stickers. I don't know. Nothing else here. So here they are. So the two sketchbooks that I got. I got a, a Stillman and Burn sketchbook. I've been wanting to try this one this brand out of sketchbooks so I'm in the quest for my favorite sketchbooks or different things that I have so you know my quest can continue with this Stillman and Burn beta series and this is the one that I got I guess and it has like all of the all of the sizes and like the GS uh the GMS and all that GSM, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, and it tells you, like, everything about it. And they also have the tone paper and, like, ivory color, which I prefer white, but, I mean, I can still rock any kind of sketchbook. So, yeah, here it tells you everything. It's a five and a half by eight and a half. I really like working on smaller sketchbooks. I don't like working on big, big ones, the ones that I'm using right now. It's uh, it's an exception. I bought it way, way back in the day, and I just bought a new sketchbook that was like cheap. <laughs> so that's why I bought that one. That's like no brand or anything. Um, and I also got this Plumchester Square sketchbook. The Plumchester is like the Art Snacks brand, I think. Uh, it's really good. Uh, really good quality stuff. So it's uh, 48 blank pages, hundred. Uh, six and 60 GSM, and then it's 8.2 8, 8 inches by 8.2 inches, a perfect square. So, yeah, these are the two sketchbooks that I got. And I do think I'm gonna make a video showing all of the sketchbooks that I, <laughs> that I have. Um, oh, let me show you also that. Yeah, there's two stickers. This colorful one and a spooky one. Little ghosts. But yeah. Uh, yeah, the video might come up. I don't know. Because I think it's a good idea. So you guys can see all of the shit that I got. And probably that will motivate me to uh, draw faster on the one that I'm currently working on. So I can like keep using my sketchbooks. This one is the one I'm usually working on and I need this much left so we'll see but yeah let's let's put the other sticker in the illustration all right picture taken so let's unpeel this and well let me see where am I gonna put it I think here I think it look look better Okay, so here we go. And here, here it is, Artnax uh, for October done. Uh, I like this a lot, that I might do an acrylic painting of this. Probably a uh, color to the skin. But, uh, Cause this one I just used a limited palette because of this, but I might I might color her her skin. Um, and she's based on one of the I've, uh, I've done an illustration like a month prior, and I'm gonna show it right now. It's this one. So I based it on her, and I might do it on OC because I have like a story in mind. 
that I'm working on and I think this whole aesthetic fits perfectly in that so yeah that's pretty much it um I hope you guys enjoy this mm, tell me if you like oh tell me if you guys like it um just notice this <laughs> but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.